It's an honor and a pleasure to uh, present this measure with uh, my colleagues, uh, Senator Hannah Beth Jackson, Chair, Vice Chair of the uh, Women's Caucus, to strengthen colleges and universities' response to uh, sexual violence. Uh, sexual assaults are uh, much too common in our colleges and universities, and as a community, as Californians, as uh, policymakers, but especially as uh, parents, mothers, and fathers, uh, we need to fundamentally change that. One out of five uh, women uh, is not an acceptable number. That is 20%. 20% of young women on a college campus, whether it's a UC, a Cal State, or private independent college, will be sexually assaulted in some form, way, or shape. We need to change, we need to have a cultural shift across institutions of higher education to take these crimes very seriously. Recent reports have made it clear that colleges throughout the country struggle to adequately address survivors' needs. The federal government is currently investigating more than 55 colleges and universities. So colleagues, obviously, doesn't make a difference from which political party we may be from, there is a profound problem across the country when it comes to the issue of rape and sexual assaults on these campuses. SB 967 will promote preventing, uh, preventative programming to educate students at, about their rights and responsibilities, especially during the new student orientation. SB 967 also takes comprehensive and a fair approach that supports and empowers uh, survivors, therefore, Madam President, as well as my esteemed colleagues, I respectfully ask for an I vote. Debate or discussion, Senator Jackson. Thank you, Madam President and members. I'm proud to rise to join my colleague, Senator DeLeon, in authoring this bill, which is the cornerstone to a critically important dialogue on campus sexual assault. The statistics indicate that at least one in five, one in five, 20 percent of students experience sexual assault during their time in college, college, where we believe our best and our brightest are going to get the education they need to be the leaders of our state and our nation and our future. It seems that sexual violence is treated as an inevitable part of the college experience, and instead of fighting to change it, Far too many schools simply overlook it. If any of us needs any reminding, this past weekend's events in my community at UCSB are a clear indication that misogyny continues to exist and misogyny kills. When young men view women as conquests, as animals upon whom to wage war, as an object they are entitled to, disastrous consequences for women and men will inevitably occur. I know this bill is not, would not likely have affected the tragedy of last weekend, but to dismiss the poisonous culture of misogyny that clearly persists in our society and in our colleges and universities today would be a tragedy. This bill is needed and makes a strong statement that California does not tolerate rape and sexual violence. I urge your support for this very important step forward in that important discussion so that we can resolve this issue once and for all. I ask for your I vote. Further debate or discussion, members? Further debate or discussion? Seeing and hearing none, would the author like to close? Thank you, Madam uh, President, as, as well as colleagues. I, obviously, this is a very serious issue uh, on our college campuses. I, I think that as, as policymakers, uh, we should intervene uh, where there's a sense of uh, uh, re-victimization, if you will, for young women. And I say young women in particular because there have been men that have also been sexually uh, assaulted, but the vast majority of uh, the victims have, in fact, been uh, young women. Uh, the reality is, is the vast majority of our college campuses throughout the state of California have no consistent program to deal with uh, uh, young women who are traumatized and who need psychotherapeutic uh, services, need an environment that's holistic, that envelops the, uh, uh, the victim and creates a, a survivor-centered, oriented uh, program. Uh, in many instances, we've had uh, the perpetrator in the same class 
uh, after the alleged uh, rape or violation. So many college campuses, again, have no consistent program. We've had administrators have either underreported or not reported at all the sexual assaults on their specific campuses. This would provide uniformity, again, create programs that are victim or survivor centered oriented so we can do everything possible to make sure that every uh, uh, college student, but especially young women, have opportunity to uh, succeed on the college environment and not have their college career impeded because of a sexual assault or rape of some sort. So with that, Madam President, as well as colleagues, I respectfully ask for an I vote. Secretary, please call the roll. Anderson? No. no. Bell? Aye. Aye. Berryhill? Aye. Block? Aye. Aye. Canella? Aye. Aye. Corbett? Aye. Aye. Correa? Aye. De Leon? Aye. Aye. Desaunier? Aye. Aye. Evans? Aye. Aye. Fuller? Gaines? No. No. Galgiani? Aye. Aye. Hancock? Aye. Aye. Hernandez? Aye. Aye. Hill? I Hueso, I Huff, Jackson, I Knight, No, Lada, I Leno, I Ted Lou, I Carol Lou, I Mitchell, I Monning, I Morell, No Nielsen, No Padilla, I Pavley, I Roth, I Steinberg, Torres, I Vidak. No, Walters. No, no Wolk. Aye. aye. Wyland. Aye. Wyland, aye. Secretary, please call the absent members. Barry Hill. No. no. Correa. Aye. aye. Fuller. Huff. No. no. Steinberg. Aye. Steinberg, aye. Ayes 27, noes 9. The bill has passed.